we continue what we will continue to have every year. He started the white and black party, and guess what? You got yeah. so many spend. You see what I'm saying? But when, if you don't associate his name with stuff. the white or black party, then guess what? It ain't a white or black party. <laughs> I promise you. This mm -hmm. guy puts fashion shows on. He puts designers out there. We have an opportunity to talk to food vendors, whatever type of vendor. It's about exposing not only white, green, purple, or blue, everybody. That's what it's about. But it's also exposing you guys. Because I know for a fact we done had contracts with Budweiser, $100,000, Moet, $50,000. And that's my job, so I can keep you guys busy. Y'all with me on that? Work. Keep us productive. My girl. I'm here. Again, you might need to stand right here next to me anyway. <laughs> so that's what it's all about, guys. So we got tickets for $45, you know. Every ticket you sell, you got 10 bucks. Now, you know what, you might say $10, not a lot of money. I might need 100 real quick if I sell what? <laughs> I might need a hundred. Y'all got a hundred? Well, you know, let's just be honest. Now, the ticket ain't but forty-five dollars anyway. That's not an expensive ticket. So, what Shane is saying is that myself. it manifests when you work on something. It manifests into something positive. That's what we're saying. Period. So, we're excited that everybody's here. We do have four events this year. We have March sixteenth, which is a sneaker ball. We have uh, May twenty-fifth. Which is our birthday party. It's Somerset. That's what we call it. It's the main oh, of the people. God. It's Somerset. So, Dang yeah. It. It's an indoor outdoor party. Then we go into August. August 17th is our white party. The original white party. That's at the Rooster Tales indoor outdoor. And then we finish it November the 9th at the Rooster Tales, which is our original black party. So, you know, we're up and down. We're all over this joint. You'll get a chance to really enjoy yourselves while you're in this process. It's a lot of fun. And I'm interject real quick. Gina T is actually, this is actually the first time in a long time that we actually had an opportunity to have a fashion show. That's why you guys are here. No, yeah, we have to come back home and get that done. You know, we wanted to do it. Girl. We have to come back home and get that done. <laughs> no. Gina, that no. Girl. Last year, we didn't do it. We still had so many people at our party. But now that she's involved, I am so excited and talking with Will that we're going to be able to have fashion shows. And what does that mean for you guys? I, I don't want to, I, I don't, I want you guys to understand when you leave here, I want you to understand the whole point of you guys being here is for you guys to expose, expose. yourself. That's what you're here for. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And now he's added another piece for you guys to, not for you walk around and look pretty. Everybody in this building is beautiful. And I mean that. But it's also an opportunity for you to be able to say you might be able to get a better job. <laughs> well, give a vote now, right? <laughs> Will might introduce you to somebody that really, because of the interview, the reason why we do the interview process, because we don't know if it's a right fit to put you with that particular individual. We need to interview you first. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's right. Y'all with me on that? Yes. yes. So understand where you are today. I want you guys to take, whenever you walk out of here today, I want you guys to walk out of here and say, you know what? I got something. I got some feel from pool, you know, gas in my tank so I can take it to the next level. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to have like to tell him about the story of Russell. So the, the guy named Russell called me and said, Will, I'm going to be a part of the event. Now, Russell does car shows, right? He does a lot of car shows in his own right. You know, he gets what he's doing. He said, man, look, I just want to be a part of it. So I sent him to Shane. He talked with Shane. They have a great conversation. Shane needs his car fixed. Who fixed it? Russell. Russell, mm -hmm. Russell would have never fixed car, Shane's car that day, made that both 500, unless he had <laughs> yeah. called about the event. Mm -hmm. Really, he'd have been, you know, somebody else may have called him that day. Well, he could have just been sitting at home that day. But because he called about the event, because he talked to Shane, he got that business. So that's how this works. Mm -hmm. When you put yourself Hello. out there, you're involved in the process, you're involved in the event, you get opportunity. That's and how it, it works. And, and what happened was is that my son, I, I mean, I, you know, I'm not trying to boast and brag. I thank God for what I have. You know, my son, I'm from North Carolina, so I have my, I got a BMW. 
I ain't driving my car up here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, my son has his car in the garage. So I'm driving my son's 19 you got this. Jeep Cherokee. And the reason I say that is because that's Paul Russell. Me personally, I, I'm not the guy that's going to be shoveling this stuff. It's not doing it. Just letting you know. Okay? So, I called Russell. He had to replace my battery. You know, it's underneath my seat. You think nobody can get in there, twitch, You know, me? Look, oh, now nah, I ain't happy. Okay? I'd rather dig in my pocket and pay for it. In a heart. Okay? So, Russell comes over. He tells me, he says, Shane, your 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 uh, sales are low, or whatever the case may be. He calls AutoZone, whatever. I said, bro, I don't give a hell. Fix this motherfucking truck. <laughs> you know, because I'm not interested in going out there changing no fucking battery. My point is saying that, and the reason why Will made the mention of that is because if I didn't talk to Russell on Friday Hi. and interview him, I would have never known that he has a mobile, a mobile mechanic shop in his truck. This guy, I said, bro, are you serious? You're fixing cars outside? That's what I said. He's, you know, so doing this thing. My whole point is saying that is you don't know who you know. So I need you guys to do me a favor. I need you guys to talk to everybody that's in the room. But understanding where you came from when it comes to Will Phelps Globe. I need you guys to network. I need you guys not to be afraid to talk to people. I need you guys to be able to say, hey, what's up? You good, bro? I like the hat, bro. You know what I'm saying? What's up, girl? What the hell? Can you put it back? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You got to go out and talk to people. And I'm going to recognize somebody real quick while we got some people here, the Pioneer. She was here the first meeting that we had. And we asked her to go out and expose herself, promote herself. You know what she did? Literally, me and Will and Gina recognized immediately what this young lady did. She went out and got on all the websites. Actually, just talk about that uh, on the websites and immediately start promoting herself. So you know, I was you know we talked about it. The reason I call her the pioneer because out of the first group of people that we had here last Sunday, she was the first one to go out and do it because she was concerned about what exposing herself, selling herself. It, you know, I know that sounds cliche, but you know what? At the end of the day, if that's what you really want to do. You got to go out and let people know what it is that you want to do. So I give ups to Pioneer in the building, y'all. Okay. Woo! 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 From now on, that's what we recognize for us. So I need you guys to be pioneers yourself. Whatever it is that you do in life, understand and tell people what it is that you want. And with that being said, uh, actually, we have the tickets. We got the vendor booth, uh, which is $250. So which means is, is that you put yourself in a situation where you make 25 bucks. And everything, any, any tickets, or I got uh, two other things. Any tickets that you get, you have to go through Gina. Gina is a ticket contact. Right. She's your contact. Sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to call Will. I mean, you need, to, you need to call Gina. All right? So if you sell a table, which is 450 bucks, right? It's a table. And you know what, and Will always says this to me, but for me, I got to look at the liability because that's why I'm here, right? Yeah. If you sell a ticket, I want you guys to understand something. Uh, no city. That's how big our events are. <laughs> so what, what he's saying that? is, is that yeah, how many right tickets when there. you get a table? <laughs> so if you sell you 10 tickets, we will reserve a table for you. Now, we got... Yeah, the person who's buying those 10 tickets, they're not buying a table. We do not sell tables. We sell tickets. You purchase 10 tickets, you have a table reserved. Now, I will create a few smaller situations. I'm um, working on that now. But it's 10 people to a table. That's how you get a seat. So if you sell a person, he said if you sell a person individual tickets, unless you've sold 10 tickets, that person may not have a seat because it goes by tables. That's how we do it here. So... That's what he's saying when he's talking about this individual ticket. Okay. And, and, and keep in mind, he's wondering, and what, what I really like, because we actually talked about it, let's say, and it's probably kind of props for you, think about something. If you mess around and sell 10 tickets, he's going to put the... the uh, that table will be in your name. In your name? Yeah. It, we actually create, what I forgot the name of it. seating charge. It, it, yeah. It's your name on it. But we're like, okay. Pioneer, I might just use it. She sold 10 tickets. It's going to be Pioneer. That's her table. 
But what we do ask is, is that by a certain time, because Will and myself is not going to be policing no table. You know, if you're not there by... Someone needs to be present at that table by 8 o'clock. We open the doors at 7. Somebody got to be present at the table because people, when they come, they will sit down. And I am not interested in telling people to get up all night. Mm -hmm. You have to have your person come sit at that table. Okay? okay. And there's no, we can't, there's no way we can rope them off because it's a lot of space. Have somebody present at your table by 8 o'clock. So we got so we, we covered the tickets. We talked about the tables. Uh, the vendor or uh, designer uh, is two fifty, if I remember correct, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's two fifty. So that means if you know somebody that's a designer that uh, uh, that wants to be a part of this event, and obviously you go for Gina, you make twenty five dollars on it. Okay. Uh, if you guys know somebody that wants to food truck, it's three hundred and fifty dollars. You know, um, but obviously it's twenty five dollars for you. So we have different space. We have vendors throughout the place. We have food truck space out front. So instead of us going through the Rooster Tail and using their food, I deal with people that I know. People that I know have food trucks. We have uh, two. We have two spots left for a food truck, and then we have vendor spaces. We provide the table. So everything is uniform. We provide the setup and everything. They just come in. They put their stuff down. They they get ready to sell. We put people in front of vendors. So if you're talking to some vendor and vendor says, well, you know, I pay fifty dollars. Well, that's good over there. We might have fifty people. <laughs> We're gonna have a different amount of people yeah. in this particular event. So we have vendor space, we have uh food truck space. Um, just anybody who wants an opportunity or has a product, send them to Gina. Mm -hmm. uh, as long as it's not selling alcohol, which is you know, you can't do that because they sell alcohol at the rooster tail. We have that opportunity. They have that opportunity to get them. Okay. And uh, last thing, and then, and then we get go ahead and get these interviews started because I see we're getting stacked up. But uh, I, I just want to tell you once again, I'm very excited about you guys being here. But Tuesday, put it in your plan. If I was you, but I'm not. But if I was, okay, you should be there at 3:30 on Tuesday at the rooster tail. It's all about making sure that you know where you're working. And more importantly, Gina's going to, uh, we actually talked about having an event because I believe in teaching and training. I, I, I'm a firm believer in that. I mean, it's not about me standing in front of a room talking and getting passionate. Or I love it. But it's all about making sure you guys get the tools in order for you guys to be successful. I don't care what nobody says. If you don't have the information, how do you expect to grow? You can learn it. But it's about getting the information from some of the people so that you guys can grow. You know, my grandmother is, you know, she's still here and she raised me. My mother died when I was five years old, or when, she, when I was five and she died. But my grandmother brought me up. And she's all about, my grandmother's all about teaching. She cussed me out this morning, matter of fact. And she's 90. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, say, I say that to say to you guys, I'm time. not. But if I was, I, I strongly encourage you to be at the Rooster Tail at 3.30 on Tuesday. And uh, it's all about making sure that you understand where you're working. But more importantly, we're going to probably have one more meeting, you know, have a little talk. And we, you're going to be able to meet all the senior staff. You have Will, myself, and Gina, and also mm -hmm. Ramona Edwards, who is the vice president of the company. She's not, she wasn't able to make it uh, with us. But she's behind the scenes for you get an opportunity to see. So that way, if you got a question, you know, you can find at least one of us, you know what I'm saying, at the event. Because it's going to be chaotic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's going to be organized. Exactly. Because yeah. no, yeah, I'm real funny about that. So, you know, we'll probably say go find Shane. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, you know, but at the end of the day, uh, we're going to have the fashion show. We talked about having uh, uh, stands where we're going to do steel modeling. Which yeah, platform, I can't even, platform modeling. Um, one, one, yeah, we we got we. That's the reason for the designers, because we want to be able to have designers be able to showcase. But we want to showcase you showcase, guys. It, it, it is. Let me just say, platform modeling is another. I, I'm. I don't know by hand how many people did platform modeling before. Oh, just mm -hmm. a couple. So, um, platform modeling is where you stand on, you know, two to three feet platform, similar to these that's over in my corner. That's what I got those built for platform modeling. And you guys will stand up there in the designer's garments. It's not just promoting the designer. It's still about you, too. It's about the designer, and it's about you. And because you're going to be doing still poses, um, and the photographers that's doing the event will be taking pictures and stuff, too. And remember, when you're on that platform, 
Now you're above everybody. Right. Exactly. You up high. You, know you up high. Exactly. Yeah, so they're so. going to be walking past like, mm, mm -hmm. okay. So, oh, really? you know, so you can engage with they the customers because you want to promote them if you've given them that um to be. Let's get that one right too. So yeah, so you know when you're on that platform, it really you stand above everybody else, so you get mm -hmm. that attention once again. All right, we uh we good. I think that we need to probably read real quick. Take my number before. Who are you calling out? Because I am open to people. You know, Shane said, sure if you're going yeah. to talk to Gina, if you talk to Gina hey, about tickets they... and stuff like that, but take my number because everybody who's been involved knows that I respond to people. So my number is 313-779-0832. That's 313-779-0832. Yeah. Okay. My name is Will Phelps. And add me on Facebook at WeWorkWillPhelps. We work Will Phelps and I have ID at Will Phelps Old Faces. So any questions that you have, call me. Gina, you can call her about tickets and stuff like that. That's what she does. But any questions, call me and we'll take your picture. I do have uh, one, one question. I just, for, the, for the vendors, uh, yeah. I know you said that there was no limitations as far as what could be vended or what have you uh, outside of alcohol, but is there any restrictions as far as like, for example, if we have like somebody that does like bakery or something like that? No, we, we, we have no, I mean, alcohol is the only thing everybody else is in. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what they do, whatever the situation they in. I mean, because once again, it's all about making sure that they get like you guys. Oh. So, yeah, if it long as they got alcohol in their product, we're fine. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Bye, so, yeah, they, um, no, just uh, make sure yeah. we can get the cop car. Uh, we can get the cop car. We can get the cop car. We can get the Oh, so, so, yeah, I, I was talking about you too, girl. Come on. That was the first one. So. Whoa, I thought I was saying that. I thought I was saying that. It's good for me. Like, I didn't look at everyone. Bye bye. Put share. So, um, so. I'm talking about the um, people that they interviewed. Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Anybody got a picture with Will Everybody before got a picture. Everybody that um, came early that they interviewed already can leave. Um, and just make sure we have your, um, Jeanette's going to log y'all in to the database. So if you haven't had that done, get that done. Okay? So, so who hasn't took a picture with Will yet? Yep, there you go. You guys are. And you need to make sure we send, uh, oh, you know what? Did we talk to that girl before she left? We got to make sure that you send your model shot because what we're going to do is, uh, we gonna, Will's going to design a flyer for you guys to be able to expose yourself. That's what we do, okay? So not the picture that we're taking now. No. Yeah, I'll do it. And you probably miss the slaughter again. Me, you're going to fight. You know what I'm saying? I might lose, but we're going to fight. <laughs> so, but just so you know, your whatever shot you can have, your professional shot, that's why he gave you the uh, website. Send it to him, and he's gonna actually design. Uh, you know, our we got to design. Uh, our, let me, let me, let me interject. Yeah. So what he's saying is that everybody involved gets a model correspondent invite. This invite has your picture, has your name, has Gina's number, but it actually has the information about the event on it as well. So when you are with us, we do one of those for you. So now when you're posting, you, they can actually see what you're doing and not guess, okay? So it's a model correspondent. A lot of you guys who are here now that came the first time to have yours, use it. Call me. I'm a guy who's in marketing. I can tell you how to sell anything. Believe me. So if you have a question, call me, all right? So I'm done, Shane. Anybody else who was here earlier that I did not get a picture of? Okay, and, and before you leave, uh, the people that was here earlier, we need you guys to go back and walk for us, okay? Yeah. That's something that's big for me. I just need to know what we're dealing with, you know, or okay, whatever. So, so Gina. Everybody who hasn't been, because a lot of these people here that's haven't right. been interviewed yet. Whatever. Maybe we should go send ahead. them over to this side. Everybody who has been interviewed, if you're about to get ready to leave, let's see y'all walk first. Before you go. Right. There you and that's, you know, started from the back, and then y'all come out. There you go. So we're going to rotate a little bit. Thank you, thank you, thank you so everybody, much. I think everybody on this side has not been interviewed yet. What we're going to do is we're going to rotate. 
Everybody gonna come on this side. <laughs> Okay, so we put the, the, the people that. So, so you have interviewed already. I have a question. Um, any other drip models in here? Drip models. Uh, Where's that? Um, right here. Is that one? Is that one it? Yeah. Any drip models that were sent 